last week in my uh, applications programming class, we were talking about data. And so I just thought it was really cool. And the way she explained it was really sweet. How it's basically it's like data works like this. So it starts, everything starts in the real world, right? In the real world, we generate rules or excuse me let, me, let me back up. So in the real world, we have rules and we have information and we have all these things in the physical world that we know as people and humans, right? So in the real world, we generate information. Now that information can be manually entered by us. It can be generated. It can be from crowdsourcing. It can be imported, all these things. So now what happens with that data is we then take the information from the real world and then we have to give it and collect the data and then present it to our computer systems in a way that they understand. So that is done with like data types. So things like text and character strings, dates and times, images, sounds, videos, special formatted data. So we take that information from the real world and then we give it to our applications where it is then stored in a way that the computer can understand, right? So then once it is stored inside the computer system, that's when we can either use it, store it, or manipulate that information and data. At that point then with context, we can use that data to create applications or softwares, which are then presented back to the real world for people like you and me to use. Now that was really fast, but that's kind of like a just fast um, uh, kind of overall explanation of what she was going over last week. And I just thought that was really cool because I never really heard it described that way. So I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought that was very interesting.